<laughs> so I've had a pretty good week. You have had, had a week. good week. And I've also had one other thought. Now, I don't mean to take over the show here. No, but you I, go I, ahead. I it's the early show. We, I don't have anything. I have determined, based on the recent events over the last five or six weeks, mm-hmm. that our our friend Josh yeah. is the glue that holds this thing together. Well, we, we, we have... Th- thought the same thing because yeah. since Josh has been on the injured reserve list, yeah. On Fridays or Thursdays, I get these cancellation notices. Oh yeah, yeah we've had DNPs, yeah. we've had and yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and the only common thread among it is the fact that Josh ain't available. So yeah, this is he's this, got to be the glue that holds this little organization together. He's the mustache wax. Yeah, well, <laughs> according to him. <laughs> He'll be next, back next week. He'll yeah. be back next week. That's right. what he says. Well, that's going to be my next question is, by the way, how is Josh? Yep, he's, he's coming off the injured reserve, says he's going to make a return next week. And, is he going to uh, rehab anywhere? You know, no. No rehab assignment? Just no. straight back to the big leagues? Yep, he's coming back in, and they're going <laughs> to – he's probably going to ride the pine, you know, for a little bit, but uh, – or the fake leather. <laughs> leather, yeah. yeah. Leather foo fa. Yeah, but uh, – Says he's coming back. Says he's feeling pretty good. So, um, I'm gonna take a couple weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, good enough. I think he went to the zoo today. Yeah, with uh, just with, a visit. Well, yeah. I thought the same thing. You know, what they took his tail off. So yeah, I, I mean, you. they might not recognize him over there. Oh no, they're gonna be like, "What are you doing here?" He's like, I'm just here to see the animals. They're like, "Well, you're not staying." He's like, "I know." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they'd be looking. Can we keep him, Mom? Can we keep him? <laughs> yeah. No, he don't have a tail. Yeah. Well, he, that's good. I'm glad he's doing better. He is the. Uh, <laughs> when was the last time y'all been to the zoo? Four. I was six. Yeah, probably <laughs> four. Yeah. <laughs> I remember going once. I don't even know if we went, like, I took a family trip to the zoo, but I remember going for school one time. <laughs> and then that was the only time I can ever remember being at the zoo. He, I think he bought a season pass, so he can go every week if he wants to. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not that interested in animals. I mean, no, a couple of beavers live out there. I don't even like them. No, I mean, you know, they come up and stand up and look at you like, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, well, I live here. Yeah. You know, they're like, well, we live out here. Like, well, <laughs> don't come across concrete. You know, it's my property. <laughs> we'll yeah. be good. I'm yeah. having trouble convincing my damn little pet rabbits out there in the yard that I ain't going to bother them. Yeah. I get anywhere near, but in a hall ass. Let me rabbit. ask you a question. You say you're not going to bother them. All right. If them little rabbits was to eat all your tomato plants and whatever the hell else you got in the yard, would you still have that outlook? No, because I wouldn't have any rabbits to kill them on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> but See, they don't eat my tomato plants, so right. I got no yeah. beef with the little rabbits. Yeah. They go wait till you get them up nice and tender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they about nice and tender because I got some, they, they didn't grow out of the top of the baskets. They're down yeah. over five feet tall. <laughs> Big old maters on them. Oh, I'm fixing to throw down on some maters. That could be a that could be a thing. If one of the rabbit or if a rabbit fam pack, what do rabbits run in? Squads, <laughs> the twos, herd, yes. twos and threes. <laughs> the herd of rabbits go out there and eat all your plants. That's when you throw on the helmet, throw on the seatbelt, go we full go rabbit. We go into war with and, the rabbits. Yeah, but like I say, they never have bothered. They behaved b- so far. So I got no issue with them. I mean, I could walk right up my foot and sit down, and I'd pet them if they let me. But Now, what about this? You had a good idea earlier. What if we started putting remote starts on lawnmowers? Mm-hmm. Just to warm it up. Yeah. Or another idea. I was going to say better, but I don't know. You guys didn't. No one seemed to give me any feedback on the remote start. Cause it's I'm pretty of, sure of what you're getting ready to say. Yeah. I've read your mind from mm-hmm. over here. You're talking about like a drone, like a lawnmower does itself. You put a drone thing on it and let the lawnmower just cut itself. Is that what you're thinking? No. Oh, well. <laughs> Someone beat us to that one. Oh, well. Never mind. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have one of those yet, Earl. <laughs> but. Well, that takes all the fun out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't chase rabbits. Can't. I'm thinking we do something like put a, we need some, we need, well, here's what we need. Someone to fabricate a bracket. <laughs> 
that can hook to the arm of the zero turn. You can't. We won't be able to use this on a steering wheel. You have to have zero turn, but can hook to the arm of a zero turn that also will hold your rifle <laughs> while you're riding in case you come across some ground game and you need to just you need to eliminate it. Yeah. He has the rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah that, that, they they make them, you know, like put on oh. four wheelers to hold yeah. you. So I'm sure it could be adapted. Yeah. We need to make an adapter plate. Right. I don't think anybody's, uh, people aren't putting that together. They're thinking, oh, I'm getting on my four wheeler. I'm going way deep in the woods. I'm going to kill an animal and then I'm going to haul it back and need somewhere to put my gun. Well, what if you're riding over your acreage of land and you see a loose beaver who's trespassing and you're yeah. like, hey, I better go ahead and, you know, get rid of this put fella. you down because you bring all yeah. your friends and stuff over here. Mm-hmm. Damn up my well. Then you got to go fix it. I scared a beaver the other day. I was on the way here and he was on the side <laughs> of the road. And standing was, up. Yeah, he was standing up on it, you know, with his, his arms were like this. How was it a beaver or a groundhog? Mm, I don't know. I couldn't see the tail. I feel that's the main difference. Yeah. Maybe. Or their demeanor. But this one was kind of just, he was peeping the scene. You know, he was looking around. He was like. Usually if it's standing up like that, it's probably a groundhog. Could have been a groundhog. Because I don't know that beavers do that very much. They yeah. probably can. They got a wide tail for, for propping you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're like a dang. Uh, Them two over there, they look at me all They stand up. I'll be up on uh, top up there and looking out. And there they are standing looking at me like. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Wise, uh, you know, eyes are wide open like in short people. Yeah. <laughs> you know. They, uh, I was riding and he was sitting there and I got almost beside him and I beeped the horn and he went and darted <laughs> off. I was like, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought he was going to die and I was just trying to scare him. And but, you did. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why, uh, I wonder why uh, Josh goes to the zoo so much. He's going by I've, always, I've always thought, and, it's, and I, I guess this this deal with his tail has it's kind of brought it to light. But uh, I just wonder if he can, uh, you know, like Doctor Dula, he he talks to them animals or they recognize him or any of that kind of stuff. You oh, know, I thought he was going down to family reunion. Well, yeah, right, I mean, you know? <laughs> is that what Doctor Doolittle did? He talked to animals. Yeah. Hmm. I've never seen the book. <laughs> Never seen Near the, the movie. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought it was a. I thought Doctor Doolittle was like a fat African American lady. What was that one? <laughs> that was Roots. That was Medu- Medu- yeah. Medina. Medina. <laughs> I'm What's not sure name? how you got Medina and Doolittle crossed up, but yeah. Who? No, because what? Hold on. <laughs> there was a. Who was Doctor Doolittle? He well, was a veterinarian I mean, doctor that could talk that to the animals. animals you yeah. know. I thought you talking about you talking about Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I thought that was a uh I thought he was uh, didn't he play a fat black lady? Yeah. Med- yeah. Med- Medina. Yeah. No, that's Tyler Perry. Yeah, but didn't Eddie Murphy do it? Or no, who was the other one? He was in the clumps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't sit here and uh, recall all this stuff, you know, because you didn't see it. And I know Earl didn't see it because he don't watch movies. Uh-uh. No, I didn't. I didn't so I'm see the one that's seen this, and you keep asking me. I didn't see the clumps. I didn't well, see. Well, give us a play-by-play on this yeah, movie. Yeah, I didn't see Medulla or Dr. Doolittle. So, but I vaguely remembered that he was in that. And so, uh, yeah, that could be. I wonder if Josh just goes to the zoo and just sneaks into, like, one of the things and grabs a lab coat. <laughs> he's just walking around with a dang clipboard. Could be. Looking at the animals. He's like, Because mm, he wears glasses, so that helps his doctor look. <clears throat> so he's looking at him. He's like, mm. And then just a kid looking at the, you know, 70,000-year-old turtle. Josh is like, mm-hmm, we're going to have to put him down. He's old. Yeah. Look, he's like, what? Well, see, I was the t- total opposite. I thought he'd just get in the cage, you walk amongst them, and they all say, hey, well, what's up? Oh, yeah. You know, you know, like that. You cool stash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, empty your tail. I wish, what he should do is he should go get some, like, uh, he should go to the Goodwill and get some of the shittiest clothes he can find and then go to the zoo and just you know stand go get in the thing and stand near the animals and be like come on 
come on. They just people are watching and they're like, What's he doing? <laughs> come on, there's a flood coming. I think he's Noah. Yeah. <laughs> like mustache Noah. Get on. Get on. <laughs> yeah. like, get on what? He's like, I got my challenger out here. Three of y'all though, one of you got to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. One of you ain't gonna make it. This is a coop, you know, and I got a trunk full of shit, so <laughs> all of y'all ain't gonna get in. <laughs> I would pay money Especially to see... Especially the Siamese elephants over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd pay money to see him try to smuggle an animal out of the zoo. What kind of laws are there for the doing that? I don't know, but I'm sure there are some. Yeah. Hopefully just theft or like petty theft, depending on how big the animal is. Well, you want him to steal a, a, a penguin or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I wish he would come back next week... Holding a penguin under his arm. in <laughs> and be like, hey, hold on a sec. I got to go get something. <laughs> And then come in with an animal. Like he did that, or like I did that one time with that emu. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he would do that. I wish he'd bring something back. Something that we ain't seen before, like a... A yak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or a... Um, what are those... I big... thought a yak was a retarded horse. No, well, it kind of is, yeah. Yeah, it might as well be. Okay. I mean, well, it's all horses. <laughs> but uh, what are those small animals that are... Um, Turtles. Ugh, no. Um, they're fuzzy. Small fuzzy. Rabbit. No. Shoot. <laughs> I saw one the other day. You can get them anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Three at Earl's house. Yeah, he got it. Rabbit. <laughs> You're not going to start a rabbit farm, are you? No, I think I am already. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Are these rabbits hemmed up or they just run free? They, they, they free, free range. range free range free, rabbits. Free range yeah. rabbits. There you go. Never mind. I was thinking. That's the best eating kind. I don't know. Yeah, is it? <laughs> what kind of what do you eat on a rabbit? They have like uh, you eat like rabbit wings or yeah. I mean, it's just like squirrel. Yeah. Oh no no no. You say rabbit wings? Is that yeah. What you say? Not near enough meat on them. I don't think just for the time that it'll take. Well, when I was a youngster, I shot one with my pellet gun, and my grandma skinned it and cooked it for me. How was it? I don't remember. I ate it, so I apparently it was okay. It probably <laughs> kind of tastes like chicken. <laughs> she probably did it just like fried chicken, so it was probably turned out great. Have you eaten squirrel as well? You know, I don't think I've ever eaten squirrel. I think it's pretty funny that you ate a rabbit, but you won't eat an onion. That damn Brent Baroni <laughs> sent me pictures yesterday of his onion patch, and I <laughs> responded, what a waste of garden space. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do that. I think we should get Josh to bring an animal in next week. Not one of his cats. We've already seen those. Yeah. Well, he's gone. You say he's gone today to the zoo. Yeah. Well, we need to text him a message to say, get so an bring animal. something back. Get an animal. Hey, yeah. <laughs> bring me a gift back. <laughs> yeah. Put something under you. It's say like what? A penguin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I penguin know. or an emu or what the hell was I thinking? Or about? yeah, or silverback. <laughs> Silverback monkey? <laughs> no hair ass monkey? I saw one the other day and I can't remember what it was. Oh, never mind. It was a Muppet. Let me take you. <laughs> I don't think you can take him out of the zoo. You tell Josh to bring a uh, animal back here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do it. He's a, he's He's got good intentions, but he doesn't follow through well. <clears throat> He loses concentration what happens to him. Well, I think part of the problem is asking him to commit a crime. You know, if it was his idea, he'd probably be all about it. Yeah. But if I'm the one saying, hey, you know, steal an animal and bring it to the podcast, he's like, that's a bad idea. Yeah. But if he had it, he'd be like, hey, look what I got. You know, I need to, if I'd have known he was going, I would have convinced him earlier that yeah, it was his you idea. Let him think it's his idea is yep. what you got to do. Yeah. Yep, we might be surprised. He might walk through that door next Saturday morning, and, have, and he might have a penguin up under his arm, you know, and yep. make it and, and make it penguin kind of sounds. Guy. I don't know what they make. Do you <laughs> <laughs> or something like that? How they go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have never heard a penguin talk. I mean, a uh, sound. <laughs> I didn't even know they could talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd love to see him bring an animal in here. I'm gl- I'm glad he's coming back because he been gone. Yep. Mm-hmm. He don't, uh, well, I miss him when he's gone. So, sentimental music plays now. So, you, uh, you back tearing up over there soon? Yeah, he's coming back to work on Monday, which is fitting because I'm not going to be there Monday or Tuesday. So, <laughs> I told him when he comes back, I said, go in there and get my chair, you know, because I got a nice new beauty rest chair. 
Maar bieden we eerst. <laughs> Napping. <laughs> Good <you know>. for sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I said, go in there and get my chair. You can have it, you know, a couple weeks till you, feed, you know, whatever. And then I'll take it back. So trying to get him all set up where he's, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I couldn't, I hope he doesn't have to have that surgery again, but I also could not go through that. I couldn't sit at home for 12 weeks. Yeah. So eight, 10 weeks. I'd lose my damn mind. Well, you'd be surprised at what you can do. I'd you buy so much shit on the internet that I didn't need. Oh yeah. I mean, It'd I'd be buy a an truck two or three times a day at the house. Yeah, yeah, I'd be, I'd buy an animal and get it here. You know, <laughs> a penguin, something. <laughs> Put him in a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. Put a bunch of ice in the bathtub. Say, here you go, friend. That's your room. Yeah. <laughs> Have at it, friend. Yeah. Might want to get that big one. That little one ain't enough room for you. Yeah. Quit screaming. Also, I don't even know. Why are you so mad? What do we, what do I feed you? <laughs> just throwing him saltine crackers, just killing him, so killing him slowly. Uh, well, I'm of, like you though. I miss Josh. Yeah, uh, I miss that uh, magnificent mustache. You know, uh, I hadn't seen him. Earl about. makes about half. You know, I need 100. percent Earl makes about 50, yep. 60 percent of that magnificent mustache. Yeah, Earl yeah. and Josh finishes it out. Yep. He puts a little bit more effort into his than I do. I just don't cut mine. <laughs> you just put more time in on yours. Oh, yours, I got time. Yeah, got yours has to, been there since you was 11. Started growing it on my 18th birthday. Yep. And I ain't cut it since. Nope. I ain't cut mine in a couple of days. I kept, I kept Hell, finding I left out. All week. I know. I've just been lazy. Just so I might need to grow me out a moustache if I'm going to be in the band. Or if we'd had the podcast <laughs> last Saturday, I'd, I had a full I had a full beard. Sure enough. Mm-hmm. We got white beard, too. Oh, I can imagine it was white. Looked like Grizzly Skull. Mm. I mean, Grizzly Adams. <laughs> Grizzly Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was thinking about the band, though. With, uh, what, are we, what are we calling it? <gasps> Earl and the Magnificent Moustaches? Yeah, it's it. <laughs> I was thinking about... Uh, Writing a song. No. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we probably need to, but I was thinking about what our first album could be called. I thought about Musty Odors. Mm. Cause I feel like people buy an album <laughs> called The Moustaches. They know what they're getting into. Yeah, musty odors or uh, mustard biscuits. I thought that'd be good. Mustard biscuit. Yeah. And what are we gonna play? Or is this just fictitious golf? I'm hoping it's fictitious. <laughs> yeah. I can't play nothing with the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how to turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a we we'd have to write our uh we'd have to write our own uh our cover song you know our our song yeah you know we could cover uh never mind i was gonna say we'd cover black betty but it's probably not too good for an all-white band to be doing that nowadays okay. probably not was ram jam an all-white band oh i figured that was y'all's time frame what we could do we call you know <coughs> our first first track could be uh I don't know, Black and Decker, the Poontane Taker, something like that. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> We'd have to figure out the words to that. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some hard rhyming going on there. <laughs> we may ought to just stick to golf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should play golf. We, no, I've seen you play golf. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, it's not a pretty good idea. We got a better chance of playing an instrument. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I'm not learning the. I'm not learning an instrument. I'll hit the. I'll play the tambourine. I feel like I could play the tambourine. Well, now we can't have two tambourines yeah, in a four-piece band. Do, you, what about, what about, do a song called Dueling Tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> what about that triangle? Ain't there a triangle oh, you yeah. play? Yeah. And uh, what's them other things you shake, you know? They're called bells. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is actually really fitting because we better go to halftime. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I wanted at my funeral, okay? I want snacks at mine. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Cheetos. I want Cheetos at mine. Yeah. You know how it gets your fingers orange and yeah. all that? Mm-hmm. And I want a napkin nowhere. Yeah. You can't find a napkin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody there going to have her whatever they got on, and then you're going to have orange streaks like right here yeah. on their <laughs> Yeah. Or you can wear that shirt, and when they come by to pay their respects, they're like, all right, little yeah, fingerprint right. yeah mm-hmm. they got you y'all want uh snacks i want like cheese platters strategically placed or unstrategically just everywhere 
Oh, with the boards with like uh, pepperonis and other dried meats, you know. But I don't want fancy ones. You know what I mean? I want loot like little pepperonis, and um, <clears throat> I want people to get like uh, uh, you know, <laughs> lunch meat. Just get a bunch of lunch meat and put it out there on a board, you know, and then see who eats it. Mm-hmm. Video a little, make your little ham and yeah. Pepperoni and cheese. So, what you thinking is cracker. while they're standing in line to look mm-hmm. down at you and say, "Oh, don't it look good? Don't it look good?" You want you want them to have a snack on the way. Yeah, I want right. to be in the thing, you know, like this, and I want them to put. I want y'all to put a. Uh, could y'all gonna set it up? <laughs> I want y'all to put a uh, platter on my, you know, stump my belly, because hopefully by then it'll be it won't be like way out here. And, <laughs> you gonna say it's gonna stick way above? The yeah, it'll be, it'll be level <laughs> and. Uh, that I want people just to come by and, you know, right before they get there, you know, they have flowers or whatever. I want them to have a, down at the feet of my casket, you know, seven feet away. I want them to have a little uh, jar of toothpicks, you know, and the sign says, get the toothpick. You know, like, what? Don't let them poke me, you know, but get a toothpick. And, <laughs> my hurt. Yeah. <laughs> It'll scare you. Get a toothpick. And when you come by and I'm sitting there, you know, like this. My eyes open. I want my eyes open. <laughs> Just go ahead and get you, get you a little cheese and a little pepperoni. You know, eat it while you come by, and then do you, whatever. <laughs> you know, tell somebody to go home. You know, steal yeah. home real quick. Just. I I was thinking the same way, but I want them to to get my hand. I want to hold a big old bowl of M and M's. Oh yeah, hold it, my hands up. Get them. Put my hands around it like yeah. that right there. Hold it for you. You know. Grab some, yeah, <laughs> but have them like your hands like this holding the bowl, yeah. So your fingers are in it, and they're like, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go have some old timer come through and be like, some pr- probably don't even know, but I think that's the thing. You know what? That we might get back in the black here. No. We old people love going to funerals. Oh yeah. Well, well they know everybody there, right? Yeah. What so. if we set up a I don't know how we'd monetize it. That's where you guys come in. <laughs> what What if we set up like a, we go to every community and we get, we find old people who are old and able, <laughs> able-bodied old, semi Well, that cuts about half I'm out right there. Semi, so. a, semi-able-bodied old people. And we set up like a squad of <clears throat> seniors. A gang. Yeah. And they are the funeral something, the funeral squad or something. They go to all funerals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That way, it makes you look like like if you were a pile of shit. Everybody, well, yeah, but no one cared. Know it everybody, you'd be slammed full of old people. There you go. So you got. I to, thought about something the same, on yeah. the same lines. You know, why don't we infiltrate these old people's homes and set up gangs at old people's homes? Yeah, we could do that. You know, and mm-hmm. they'd have to wear like you know, I don't know, a black leather vest and a. Red M, uh, bandana around their wrist or something. Mm-hmm. With their name and address and social security number on it. In case yeah. wander off. Yeah. yeah. Instead of a bandana, we could just give them colored um, hospital bands. That way they'd be ready when they go. <laughs> they'd be ready and they could be easily identified. Mm-hmm. And you could sort it out by, hey, if you're in the wing where they lock the doors and there's a buzzer on your bed, if you get up, you get a blue band. You know, that way when they come to the funeral... All right, red bands come through, yellow bands. Who's watching the blue bands? <laughs> you know, are all the doors locked? I think we do it that way. Really good idea. And it would be like a classification of, hey, red bands are here to do shake hands. They're here to politic. Shake hands, tell the family, hey, we're sorry about, you know, little Daniel that he OD'd on fentanyl. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You know, and they're like, who are you? They're like, well, we're the red bands. Oh, you know, the yellow bands come in and they're the ones who kind of stir the pot. They're like, yeah, he was a drug user, but he was, I guess he was a good boy till then. Till all that happened. Yeah. Really. <laughs> and then the blue bands come through and they're like, thank you for, you know, the family's like, thank you for coming. They're like, where am I? Yeah. You know, <laughs> why am I and here? Why am I here? Who when, is, he, who is, yeah. this, who is this guy? <laughs> When's lunch? He's a dead man over there. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking a tip jar at the head of the casket, you know, big old. Okay. Yeah, one of them big pickle jars, you know. Mm-hmm. I like that. Put I like that. Jar, you know, yeah, I like help. that. Yep. Offset some of the costs that'll be incurred for all yep. the. And we just put a sign on it too. Put like folding money only. Yeah. We don't want them penny to have yeah. to count out. Yeah. No. Nickels. And no, no, no. We don't no, want to have no. to count all them out. 
fold roll them, on them. Yeah. <coughs> well, I feel like we got a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if this uh this idea is about us uh starting our own band and writing our own songs don't work out, well we always got this to fall back on. Oh yeah. We got a plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We always got to have something in the pan, you know. Oh yeah, you got you got to be two or three steps ahead. You got to be looking ahead. Yeah, turns out we're not real great chefs, so we normally burn it and you know yeah. throw that shit away. But yeah. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we could definitely do something like that. I think getting in the yeah, because a lot of people are every everyone's gonna die probably. You think? Boy, <laughs> what a new you mind if I write that down? I mean, yeah, and, uh, this podcast is gonna get a lot of attention now. Yeah, I wrote it on my hand real. this morning, so I wouldn't forget it, but everyone's gonna die most likely and then they're gonna need to be buried yeah or done away with yeah you know. somehow so what if we now here's another idea actually that's not a good idea now whatever we do now we can't offset our damn mausoleum yeah 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 yeah. we don't you be know. competing against ourselves yeah do we? right this is probably going to be like an uh, an add-on service okay it's got to be integrated just in. so y'all know i did contact some people over in china about mausoleum and mm -hmm. area like that mm -hmm. and, how'd that and, go what well they sent me back they answered mm -hmm. but i can't understand a damn thing you see yeah so but that's the problem. Line. yeah oh yeah yeah so yeah that's the problem i'm looking for a chinese person to translate it for me yeah. but uh i don't know any because i don't speak their language so yeah what you I, mean, I could know some and not even know you it might you know, not know they it, might yeah. say hey to me can i help you some way or no but i wouldn't know it right so. right you need one of those uh, bisexual, not bisexuals, fucking, uh, you need one of those. Yeah, for sure I don't yeah, need one of them. You need one of them ones that speak both languages. That'd uh, be called bilingual. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. I'm not on Twitter. Are you on Twitter, Earl? No. Oh. You seem like you'd be a good follow on Twitter. We, well, I, if, if, if he seemed like he'd be a good uh, tweet on Twitter, or uh, Twitter, uh, tweeter on Twitter. A uh, tweeter on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. And when Elon gets control of it, I might. There we go. There we go. But as long as them other idiots have got anything to do with it, yeah. nah. Ain't I don't it. know why. Well, let we, me know when you do, because I want to follow you. Yeah, I don't I'm even have Twitter, and I'm going to follow you. We'll yeah. all sign up whenever Elon yeah. gets. Yeah, because then you could put out this. What are we What are we, What are we talking about? Why are we it, even thinking up dead people businesses? What, the bells? What are we talking about? Why are we thinking? We don't need to talk about none of them. going to get on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, geez. You're going to have a million followers in the first week. You put out Look, one Earl. And you know what his what tweet is name's going to be? Earl? That's all you need. Yeah. Earl? That's all you need. Earl, period. Yeah. It's no, no, nothing else. You know, it's just Earl. And you put out the, what are they called? Not. You already got three followers. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't even have one. You yet. ain't even on there yet. Yeah, and you and you go make Josh follow. To get oh, together. yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, yeah. He's the only one out of all of us who does have Twitter, I think, maybe. But you put out, what are those? What a damn thing. What are we doing? What were we doing? Tweeting? Yeah. But you were doing philosopher. Yeah. Oh. You put out yeah. one in the morning. That'll either, that'll do one of two things. That'll either set someone's day on the right course or lead to a crime. Lead to a suicide or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have to have a disclaimer. We yeah. Decide. Thought for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who was the guy in, um, I don't know, he's not. Jill? No, he's not Chinese. He might have been Chinese, but he was the. Uh, he has a bunch of sayings. Confucius. Yeah. Philosophy. His name don't lend to. No, it makes, like it makes it sound like confused. Yeah. 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 I think he was confused. Some of his sayings. Probably. I wanted to throw this disclaimer out there just because some people don't understand what we're doing. <laughs> we're three outs right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I yeah. sign up for that. <laughs> yeah. This podcast is is made for one thing to make people laugh it's not made to offend anyone and it's also not made to hurt anyone's feelings we don't hate anybody i don't i mean i hate a lot of people but i don't <laughs> i don't no, hate, hate but i'm not some of them <laughs> yeah i don't hate any group of people because of their grouping or whatever their identity yeah some people seem to think that that some of the stuff that we say is not uh politically correct or conducive to happy i don't know but some people are also idiots so oh, if you don't them. understand that what we're doing here is joking stop watching yeah yeah watch watch yeah turn go on to the zoo yeah, yeah. Go watch the view yeah, yeah. <laughs> turn on cnn turn on fox turn on anything other than this but if you want to laugh Come and you on, want to hear the you. ridiculous ideas now, Earl, what about this uh what was it l 
B Q T Q R plus X Y R Z. Yeah. You support that, Earl? Well. The only reason I'm asking Earl he, is every time I go into a restaurant, I support them. Because I order lettuce, bacon, queso, tomato, LBGQ2, mm-hmm. or something else, uh, guacamole, oh yeah, all that. Yep. I support it 100%. Yeah, well. Because a lot of that stuff I can't eat without it. <laughs> you know. But you notice I didn't put O in there, and that's onions, because I knew you didn't like yeah, onions. Yeah, we don't do onions. So yeah. We don't do onions. Now, what else do you not partake in, Earl? Oh, there's a lot of things I don't eat. Yeah, don't eat. fish. Yeah, anything that makes love in the water. I don't <laughs> Ra- rabbit so far. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I ate, ate rabbit. Yeah, he's ate rabbit. Ate, ate rabbit. You ate a rabbit one time, but I mean, you don't. It's not on your menu. Oh anymore. no, it's yeah. not on the weekly right. schedule. No. Yeah, yeah. Of course, if we get more rabbits, you know. Well, but yeah, if they go to breeding fast enough, I might have to start harvesting them. I could see. <laughs> I could see Earl out there grilling up some rabbits. Just filleted that bad boy right down the middle, open him up. And the thing about up. it, he wouldn't do it on the edge of his garage. He'd 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 roll his grill down there to the road. Yeah, you know. And I'm gonna grill him right here. Yeah, what I'm gonna well, do. The rest of them can see it. Yeah, <laughs> Earl. How many times in your life? Actually, not in your life. That's a long time. How many times in the last six years have you cooked a taco at home? Let's see. Today is cooked June a what? The 11th taco. Of 2020, a taco. Yeah. Going back to when. That would be none. Okay. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Because. <laughs> Do you cook tacos? I didn't even know you cook tacos. Oh, I've been eating them raw all this time, and I didn't even know it. Yeah, you could cook a taco. <laughs> or really? you can eat it raw either way. It's yeah. like an onion. Apparently, you can eat it raw. Yeah. <laughs> had no idea. <laughs> I mean. What I'm thinking is. is I bet we, they would be cook, good real cooked. Oh, they're. You know. Yeah. If you cook them right, phew, boy, blow your balls right off if your If you cook them right. Yeah. How do you cook them? I mean. Is there a wrong way to cook them? Yes. You got a taco in a shell with less than made and some beef in there. What you do, just slap it in the oven or what you no, sit no, it in no. the frying See, pan? Yep. You don't put it in the oven. Don't put, don't put it in the oven. You put it in a pan <laughs> and you let it. You let the cheese melt. Then you flip it over. You just toast it a little so bit like on both grilled sides. Cheese. Yeah. So it's a grilled taco. Yep. I'm thinking what we do is this because we got a grill and it's got a flat top surface on it. I'm thinking every Wednesday. Or whatever day is slow for well pumping. <laughs> Every Wednesday. <laughs> we, Which is usually yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> I think we roll out there to the end of Earl's driveway. And we put, we got some signage to put on the road. And we say, hey, tacos. Grilled one, tacos. Grilled tacos, $1, Earl's house. You have the perfect setup for a drive through Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a built-in drive through Yep. All they do is roll up. How many? And it's just like the hot dog place. Yeah. How, we don't ask them what they want. How yeah. many? How do many you want? do you yeah. want? See, somebody can go down there to like the edge of Freddie's yard. You know, yeah. be the first one to one. Other how many, many? How many? Holler down there. Do six. Yeah. Do four. Yep. We could take that yard sale sign and change it. Yep. Take yard sale off. Put tacos. Yeah. And then Earl's house. Yep. You know, <laughs> and probably a dollar on there. Yeah, that that right there. You and Twitter, we might be bazillionaires in we six gonna months We're going to be in the black for long. Oh yeah, I'm thinking that two weeks of that, we are we've already bought a new studio, or we should probably buy something else first. But then, eventually, <laughs> like a Ferrari, maybe. Yeah, yeah, something maybe right better equipment him. to make tacos with would be <laughs> the first step, you know, or more ingredients. But yeah, I think we do that. I think we have a drive through into Earl's driveway. Because, listen, there's a guy, and I'm going to tell you this, and you're not going to believe me because I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> but there's a guy. Now, he works in California. Well, now that makes it all different in the world. Yeah. And he sets up every, I think he sets up <laughs> Thursday, maybe Fridays and Saturdays at the end of his driveway. Now, I don't remember his name, but it's a, it's a good name. <laughs> but he sets up a pop-up tent. He rolls his flat grill out to the end of his driveway, and he makes two things. He makes one thing, quesadilla. And you can either get beef or chicken. And he sells them for $10 a quesadilla. And he makes about $100,000 a year. Working two days a week. Maybe he's working four days, you know, prepping the other two. Yeah, you got to prep. You got your prep work. So he's working four days a week. For about 
six hours a day selling two things and making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Now, I don't know if there's enough people in Westminster, one, in just in general, two that eat tacos, but we well, can definitely well, Westminster probably not. Wahala, yeah, they's enough. Yes. <laughs> yep. And we, we set that up and now listen, here we're now we're talking. Then we start franchising this thing. Hey, all you need is a pop up tent, flat top grill, seven ingredients. You got a taco stand. Now let me ask you a question. You mm-hmm. gonna have soft shell tacos and hard shell tacos? Nope, just okay. soft shell. <laughs> if you want, hard- I was thinking if you had uh, like 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 hard shell taco, you and Josh could be over there. Mm-hmm. If soft shell, me and Earl run it. Yeah, over there. Yeah, you know they just drive through. They go hard shell, soft shell. Well, going down there, soft shell. Yeah, send us on down there. Nope. If you want hard shell, we just uh, grill your soft shell. Well done. And there you go. Crunchy. I don't. I think that's the the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> well, it's here's the most question. practical. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of ideas. <laughs> yeah. This one seems like the most realistic and the most feasible, and one that might actually make money. A lot let of me, the, let me ask a question. Have you thought about a name for this? I mean, it's going to be at Earl's house, so I'm thinking. Yeah, Earl's tacos. Earl's tacos and lawnmower repair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. Earl's tacos. Slash well pumping. Yeah, <laughs> and well pumping on the side. Yeah. I thought you don't do vinyl siding, do you? No, no, no. I had to retire from vinyl siding. We uh, we put one in the other day. Well pump, six hundred and nine feet. How long does it take you to get down there? (laughs) You don't go down. Oh, (laughs) that's a good thing. I might not find your way back. Hmm. Yeah, because this whole time I thought you were going down a, a six hundred. Oh yeah, we thought you were shimmying yeah. down six hundred two no, feet. And no. Well, then you Putting told us one. it's a six inch diameter hole. I was like, yeah, we get down there. Well, we couldn't. <laughs> you could. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining it like a cartoon where <laughs> the holes dug right, and they're like, all right, you think that's far enough? And Earl has got his goggles on, <laughs> just runs, jumps, and dives down the hole. You know, with a rope on his feet. <laughs> Pull me out. <laughs> gotta nope, go further. Nope, not deep enough. Yeah, gotta go further. <laughs> Hands all muddy where he hit. You know? <laughs> oh, thank God it ain't that way. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening for sure. That would be a. Uh, that might be the next <laughs> animated portion that we do. <laughs> and I can see Wally Coyote looking down in that hole at Earl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Row Runner, he. he he flies by and stops at that hole. He looked down at Earl, too. <laughs> yeah. What did he say when he ran by? Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Yeah. Earl's like, hey, <laughs> pull me up. <laughs> he beep, beeps and beep, runs beep. off. Earl's like, well, shit. <laughs> Stuck. Here I am upside yeah. down. <laughs> Do you have a... Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I was going to ask if you had a radio when you got down there, but you're not even going down there. So still me no, imagine. Couldn't get no reception. <laughs> still yeah. me imagine an Earl down in the bottom of the hole. <laughs> hey, get me out. <laughs> Send me some tacos down here. <laughs> Lower them down softly. <laughs> Three, hard shell, no onions. <laughs> 